Hi, my name is Silvia Rosales and I am the Operations Manager for Saber Youth. When I was 17, actually, this wasn't the route that I had decided to take. I thought when I went to school, I was going to do something more in the biology field, which, in essence, when I started Irvine, because I went to UCIF for my undergrad, I started as a biology major. Once I was in school, um, I worked for an organization called CAMP, and it's California Alliance for Minority Participation, and they do a lot of things sort of like we do here at SOI. They help kids with tutoring, they help kids um, with their schooling, uh, with research and things of that sort. Um, and I fortunately had a lot of help when I was in high school, and I think along the way, um, I discovered that I enjoyed that more than actually taking a genetics class or working in a lab and things of that sort. So once I was there and I worked more with kids and you know peers and adults, then it just kind of it's a feeling that you get that is very satisfactory. I did this career, like I said, I was when I started I was going to do biology and then I changed my major to psychology and social behavior and I also did a minor in education. So if you want to be in this kind of career, you would probably do something in health services or education and things of that sort. But in reality, when you do your undergrad, if you want to do something this, in this area, you can pick basically any major and still work in this nonprofit. I actually have worked throughout my life with kids from preschool to high school. Uh -huh. So when kids say that, it is true. However, in comparison, I'd much rather work with kids that are older than the little ones. <laughs> because with the older kids, is more of a um, for some of them, it's more of an attitude thing, and you know, the feeling that I know everything and no one tells me what to do type of thing. But you guys also are more understanding and you comprehend when you get direction and things of that sort. Little kids, it's a little bit more different. But um, I think it just, it's just, it's a bonding. It's just, you know, making sure that the kids know that you actually care and, and then it'll work. It'll I'm very new to the operations manager position, so there are a lot of things that I wasn't, I guess, per se prepared for. Um, I don't really think I face a lot of challenges as far as working with the kids. It's more of behind the scenes, like managing the center, um, looking uh, for collaborations, uh, forming, networking, you know, finding volunteers. Uh, getting people to get involved with the organization and donors and all that sort of. So all the behind the scenes that the kids don't see, mm -hmm. that's where all most of the, the challenge is. Typical is really not the word to use. <laughs> because when you work in a nonprofit, when you work with kids, no day is the same. Um, but most of the days, you know, obviously consists of, you know, scheduling, um, meeting with kids, working one-on-one, -on -one, doing appointments with the kids and the tutors. Um, as far as admin work, you have to make sure you, you know, pay the bills, you have to do all the donor relations, you have to work on fundraising. So it's basically a little of everything. I actually think I'm lucky because for myself, I am married, but I don't have children. So it's a bit easier. Um, my husband also works a lot. So in that sense, um, it's not as bad. Uh, and then I work here mainly evenings. So most of the errands and things of that sort that I have to do for personal, I do it in the morning or on the weekend. But uh, it does get a bit overwhelming 
when you know you have to be able to take care of your family and then you know I take care of my parents as well because they're elderly now so to balance that and then come to work and have a full day and then still have to go back and kind of cook and do all that <laughs> stuff it's not a field day but um you you learn to manage it I think life experiences is particularly for me the life experiences that I've gone through have helped me be able to manage and multitask because I've always had to work at least one job even when I was in college I actually worked two part-time jobs I went to school for full-time and I still had to you know deal with um, my mom's illness back then she had breast cancer so I had to do all her doctor's appointments prescriptions x-rays you name it so it's just more time management it's when you get the comments from the kids or when you see um, a student smile or when they say the simple oh you know what what you just did for me means so much it's um, knowing that you touch people's lives is what really says gives you a good satisfaction, a good feeling satisfaction. Actually, do I don't even know what I would do outside of this. Um, like I said, all my life I've worked in the field, um, helping mainly kids. Uh, I don't even know why I thought about biology at some point, but if that's all I did from. <laughs> babysitting to daycare to um, after school programs. It was always with kids or, or young adults. Um, so I, I don't know what else I would do actually. <laughs> <laughs> My advice would be to um, figure out first before and if this is your passion because sometimes I feel like when you run across um, certain people or, uh, or from a kid's experiences that they said oh I met so and so but you know they weren't really helpful or things like that uh, if you really want to make a difference in someone's life then go for it but if you're not really you know social you're not really prepared for that I don't think maybe this would be the field